everybody, I'm Miss Aline and you have joined us for Kids Corner on Armstrong Cable, channels 20 and 100. Today we're at Poland Union Elementary School with the first grade class and it's all about creepy critters, fungus and flies. So stay tuned and enjoy our two stories and very fun creepy critter project. Miss Aline and I'm really happy to see all of you guys today. We're gonna have some fun. Today is all about creepy critters, fungus, and flies. Sound exciting? No. <laughs> Sound kind of creepy? No. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have a lot of fun. We've got two really, really fun stories today, and then we're gonna do a creepy critter art project. Does that sound fun? Yeah! Good. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and get started. Who can tell me the name of a creepy critter bug? Let's see. How about you over here? A daddy long leg. That's a spider, isn't it? Very good. Um, how about you in the pink sweater? A beetle. There's lots of beetles too. Okay, how about you right there in the pink shirt? A bee, that's right, bumblebees. There's lots of different kinds of bumblebees too, aren't there? There's the big black bees, then there's the yellow jackets and all sorts of stuff going on in the bee family. How about you in the green shirt? Hornets. Hornets, yep. That kind of might be part of the bee family. I'm not exactly sure if they're a little bit different the way they're classified or if they're part of the bee family. Um, let's see, how about you right there? Uh, okay, we've got two answers. We've got a wasp and a tarantula. All right, um, let's get somebody right there. Um, a worm? A worm. That's a creepy crawler critter. How about you right here in the pink shirt? A moth. A moth. That's another one. That flies, huh? Um, how about you right here? A stink bug. A stink bug. Ew. <laughs> how about you over there? A tick, yep, those are kind of, those are not fun bugs. How about you over there with the red shirt? A what? A bowl? A mole? I don't think that's a bug. I think that's an animal, but it is a critter but I'm looking for like bug animals and insects and things like that. How about you right here in the green shirt? Stink bugs. Yep, somebody said stink bugs. How about one we haven't heard yet? A fly, very good. Okay, let's get two more answers. You right here in the blue sweater. Mm -hmm. A mosquito? A mosquito, that's a good one. Those are really, really annoying during the summer, aren't they? Okay, let's get one more answer. You way in the back. Um, a grasshopper. A grasshopper. Good job, guys. You guys got lots of bugs. So, let's go ahead and read one of our stories about all these creepy crawler insect buggies. And then we'll read another story about fungus. Ew. <laughs> fungus is 
something that kind of grows when there's bacteria and things that kind of collect and it's kind of icky. So we'll get to that and we'll explain a little bit more as we go into our story, okay? All right. And our first story is called The Fly Flew In. And it's by David Catro. The fly flew on. The fly flew off. The fly got in line. Flick. The fly did a flip. The fly flew in, out, and on. He landed on a lollipop. Yuck. The mom got rid of it. The fly flew by. Get that fly, bang. And we see the musicians are trying to smash him between their cymbals. Get that fly, boom. Get that fly, la la la. La. <laughs> Get that fly. Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> the fly flew out. Bye, fly. <laughs> Has anybody ever been eating a lollipop or a piece of candy and had a fly that just wouldn't leave you alone? Me too. <laughs> Did you guys like that story? That was pretty funny, huh? Did you notice something interesting about that story and what was going on with the words that they were using with the fly? Did anybody notice that they were giving directions of which way the fly was going? Does anybody remember one of the ways that the fly flew? How about somebody I haven't called on yet? How about you right there? Which way did the fly fly? In, that's right, the fly flew in. How about you right here? The fly flew out. The fly flew out, excellent. How about you right there? The fly flew on. The fly flew on, exactly. And two more people. How about you right there in the striped shirt? The fly flew off. The fly flew off. And have I heard from you right there in the blue striped shirt? Yep, you. The fly flew that way? Which way? Did they flick the fly? Yeah. <laughs> yep. How about, did they bang the fly? Yeah. Yep. Did they boom the fly? Yeah. Yep, they did all of that. And you saw all the people were beaten up trying to get to the fly, and it just was kind of crazy in there about that fly, wasn't it? Okay, and now we will hear about the fungus that ate my school. <laughs> and this story is by Arthur Doros. We told Mr. Harrison our science experiments were getting out of control. He didn't believe us until it ate our school. 
It started before spring vacation. Our class was studying fungus. We were growing fungus in jars. Are you sure our experiments will be all right while we're not here? We asked Mr. Harrison. Don't worry, he told us. Fungus can take care of itself. There was rain during the whole vacation. Our first day back at school, Mrs. Moreover, the principal, opened the front doors early. Come on, children, let's get out of the rain. And that's a lot of rain, huh? Yeah. We walked into the dark hallway. Miss Moreover turned on the lights. Ah! yelled Ellen. Green, yellow, and purple fuzz covered everything. What is it? asked Miss Moreover. It's big and ugly, said Ellen. It's fantastic, I said. It is not fantastic, said Miss Moreover. That's true. It's a fungus, said Mr. Harrison. The bell rang. Actually, the bell went thud, thud, thud. It had smothered the bell. The slimy fuzz covered the floors, walls, and bulletin boards, even the lights. It's eating everything, I said. I don't hear it chewing, Ellen noted. I didn't think fungus had a mouth, said Alex. Look, it's eating our universe, cried Ellen. It squished under our feet as we trampled down the hallway. The roof's been leaking, Mr. Harrison said. That's definitely a problem, said Miss Moreover. She opened the office door. It has taken over my office. We ventured further through the dark halls. Mr. Page, the librarian, looked into the library. Oh no, said Mr. Page. He fainted. End of page. Mr. Harrison led us into our classroom. It ate my notebook, called Alex. It's eating my homework, cried Ellen. Just as I thought, said Miss Moreover, when she saw the jars of fungus we'd been growing. It must have been one of your class experiments. It doesn't look like mine, I said. We need an expert opinion, said Miss, Mr. Harrison. I know just who to call. We went to the cafeteria. Don't let it eat the food, said Miss Moreover. Too late. Looks like it can eat almost anything, I said. Quickly, children, run, said Miss Moreover. I mean, walk to the nearest exit. A car pulled up. Professor Macademia is here, Mr. Harrison said. She knows fungus. She looks like she knows fungus, said Ellen. Amazing, said Professor Macademia. It's a jewel, a treasure. How can we get rid of it? Miss Moreover asked. That's all we want to know. Fresh air, light, elbow grease, and a little help from my friends in the fungus unit. That ought to get rid of it, said Professor Macademia. Fungus unit? What's a fungus unit? Ellen asked. Special branch of the sanitation department. Does anybody know what sanitation means? It means cleaning. Special branch of the sanitation department, said someone dressed in white, pulling a giant hose into the school. Other workers carried in shovels, mops, and bright lights. Action! called one of them. Suddenly the whole school was filled with whirring and clanking, swooshing and scrubbing. 
The fungus unit scraped it off everything in the school and hauled it away. Professor Macademia kept our fungus experiments. I want to see if one more of them is it, she said. She held up one of the fungus jars. Aha, said Professor Macademia, this is it. It's not mine, said Alex. Uh-oh, I said, it's mine. It's not your fault, said Professor Macademia. The wet, closed up school was the perfect place for fungus to grow. You have made a great discovery. This fungus belongs in the Museum of Fungus and Industry. Our class got a special award from the museum. Congratulations, class, said Miss Moreover. However, Mr. Harrison, I think you've learned enough about fungus for now. Don't worry, said Mr. Harrison, no more fungus experiments. Until next year. So we learned a little bit about fungus. Does anybody remember from our story what Professor Macadamia said is the perfect place for fungus to grow? How about you? Mm -hmm. In the wet in the school. How about somebody else? Can somebody else tell me the other thing? Huh? That's where they got um, an award from. Can anybody else tell me where fungus likes to grow? In the library. Nope, not in the library. It's in the wet. And how about you in the back? In the school. It grew in the school, but I'll go ahead and give you a hint. Is it in the light or is it in the... How about you in the back? Um, a jungle? Not in the, well, yeah, it will grow in the jungle, but there's some place, it, no matter where you're at, if it's at your house, if it's in the jungle, if it's in the forest, or if it's anywhere, it has to be wet and, how about you? Right here in the pink shirt. In the woods. It will grow in the woods. One more time and then I'm going to... In the dark. That's right. In the wet, in the dark, and when it's closed up and there's not air circulating, that's where fungus loves to grow. And like our story had, it won't really turn into a big scary monster like the one in the story that kind of tried to eat the whole school. But it will grow over things and it'll just keep growing and growing until somebody contains it most of the time. So what did they do to get rid of the fungus? Called experts to... They did. They, they did. But what did the experts do? In the back with the pink shirt. Clean the, uh, clean the fungus. They cleaned the fungus. What else did they use when they cleaned the fungus? There was something that got rid of the dark, and what was that with the green shirt? Uh, uh, they did. Did they leave it dark in the school? No. What did they do? They put a bunch of light, didn't they? And that helped get rid of the fungus. So now we've learned a little bit about fungus. And not all funguses are completely um, bad. Some of them are actually something you might eat, strangely enough. Anybody ever ate mushrooms? That's part of the fungus family. Isn't that funny? Kind of funny but it's not a fungus that will hurt you. So that's a little bit different and we learned a little bit about funguses today, haven't we? All right, guys. Is anybody here ready to do our very fun Creepy Critter art project? Me too.
make our very own creepy critters and you can make them whatever color out of my colors that you guys want. You're gonna pick two colors and then you are going to also pick, so you're gonna pick two colors for your paint if you want or you can make it all one color. So you're gonna pick one or two colors for your creepy critters body and then you're gonna pick the color that you want for your antennas and your wings, all right? Don't try to put your wings in yet or your antennas, but I'm gonna have you guys line up one table at a time and get your paint colors and don't open up your clay yet, okay? you can flatten it just a little bit. If you want it to be a round circle, just keep rubbing it between your hands like that gently, okay? I'm gonna take one of my short fuzzy sticks and I'm going to stick it in the top of my clay. And these are gonna be our antennas. And then I'm gonna take my second one and I'm gonna stick it right next to the other one. on and you're going to start to paint around your wings and antenna and cover up your piece of clay and to make it easier you can actually set it on the table and just push down a tiny bit so that you've got a flat end so it'll stay right there. For the next day or so, 
And after a day or so of drying, well, the paint's gonna dry fast, but the ball of clay will get harder and harder as the air dries it out. And then you'll have a critter that you can keep for a very long time, okay? Hey everybody, I'm Miss Aline and I want to thank you guys for joining us today on Kids Corner for Armstrong Cable, channels 20 and 100. Today we were at Poland Union Elementary School with the first grade class and we had a very fun time learning about creepy crawlers, fungus, and flies. So, I hope you guys enjoyed yourself and I hope you had fun making your very own critter. Until next time, we say bye-bye.